today we have something a little bit different. Uh, this was about to maybe a month or six weeks in the making this video. Uh, I wanted to start and show everyone what a, a custom ride out supply sticker kit looked like from start to finish from uh, kind of thinking it up and, and the design of it. Um, showing the, the folks over at ride out supply what it looks like, what I was thinking. Uh, and then taking kind of my little, my little uh, digital sketch uh, that I sent them after I ordered the kit, uh, and all the way through the process of approving, seeing the the uh, the proofs, and then the final kit uh, coming, and then I installed it on my bike. So uh, over the course of this time, though, obviously, uh, maybe it's not obviously, maybe you'll see this in the future, but um, the coronavirus has has basically really come and hit full force here in the United States, um, and so the tone of the video. Uh, at the beginning is very upbeat and positive and and i don't want this to be negative but if you see kind of a change in my tone that's why um you know i'm a little bit anxious about what's going on in the world uh we've been kind of self-quarantining for the last week and a half uh, my kids are on spring break right now but they don't they're staying home so uh it's just kind of a weird time in our history uh do be safe out there uh, avoid contact with people do the social distancing staying as much as you possibly can um, wash your hands and uh, just be good to each other be give each other grace right now because it's a excuse me, it's a difficult time uh, in the world so hopefully this brings you a little bit of joy and, and something to look forward to when this is all over with uh, to show you what this kit looks like what it's like what you get versus what you order uh, and is it worth it uh, and for me I could tell you this was absolutely worth uh, the price of the custom kit versus just getting a, you know, hey, I want these words in, a, in an already stock font. Uh, this kit really, my bike looks like uh, what I would have rode had I had the opportunity to ride this exact same bike in 1986, 87, 88, um, only now it's 2020. Uh, so I'm so stoked about it and I'm really excited about the way it turned out. So I hope you enjoyed it as well. Stay safe out there. Enjoy if you like it. Give it a like. If you want to see more content like that, subscribe. Um, I don't beg for likes and, subscription and, and subscribes. If you like the content that I make, follow and hit the notification and, and you'll hear the latest stuff. Uh, follow me on Instagram. It's OMG Hey Isaac, I S A A C. Uh, if you want to follow me there and you'll see the stuff that I'm working on before it actually hits YouTube because sometimes I'll post little previews and stuff there. So I appreciate your time. I appreciate you watching. Be safe out there. We'll ride soon. Here I'm just grabbing a picture from Jacob Santos' uh, Instagram. Now, I already asked permission. Uh, hey, man, do you mind if I use this? Because I wanted to put a Santos sticker on my, my Broke Boys Santos bar. So I'm going to walk you through the process that I did uh, to convert his logo into a black and white, uh, what's called vector image. And this is the same thing I did on all of the images um, as far as anything that I found to make this kit. So... I've opened up the, the screenshot in, in uh, Illustrator. I've selected it and I've said, hey, expand it. I'm trying to make outlines and right here I'm selecting the black area of this logo. And what this does is it makes it so that I can, I can uh, increase or decrease the size of the image without losing the quality of the images. So if you've ever taken a picture on your phone and zoomed in too far and it starts to get blurry, uh, Illustrator makes turns those images into basically vectors or mathematical images, so that as I as one gets bigger, then everything gets bigger. So uh, basically, it's just a it's a graphic design tool that helps you uh, make logos and things like that. So here I've taken the image, turned it black and white, made all the the black areas their own separate item, and now I'm going to group them all together and move them over here to make sure that I have just the black area selected. And it looks like I've, I got them all but the inside of that O. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to ungroup. And I didn't get it yet. Let me ungroup again. And I will get the inside of this O gone. And we'll get it back to grouped up again. And then I'm basically just going to copy this and paste it over into my other document where you'll see the other logos for my kit. And uh, that way you can kind of see the way this happens. So I'm going to paste it in here. And this is what I sent over uh, when I was done ordering the kit to Ride Out Supply so they could see uh, basically my idea. And uh, it's pretty neat to see it here and then see what actually 
what actually uh, came to fruition when I ordered it. So now here I am over at the, the rideoutsupply.com website. He sells bikes. He's got all kinds of parts. He's got a fantastic free will. Um, but what I'm interested in here is sticker kits. And they have lots of options here. Now, I tested my color scheme with the, the rainbow holographic and the black uh, text earlier with an Instagram kit because it was cheap for me to see if I liked it or not, and I did. So now I'm going to go back here to this custom theme kit, which is the bottom of the list. I'm letting them know, hey, this is the freestyling ripper because that's the words that I want on there. Even though I'm getting a custom kit, this kind of helps them understand uh, what I'm looking for and when I send in his file when I send in my file what it's going to look like so on the forks here It'll say club homeboy, which was another big thing in the 80s for us us uh, freestyle guys Here I'm selecting the rainbow chrome that's non reflective with the black reflective for the drop shadow And I'm letting him know it's going on my 29 big ripper and I give him some some notes here that just let him know hey make this as good as you can add your own flavor and here I'm going to go ahead and give them my Instagram ID over here, and then I'm going to check out. super stoked today because I got a package from Ride Out Supply which is going to be my custom freestyling stickers I've been talking about and I saw the proof and I was super super psyched about it so this is the first time I've actually seen it in person It take these up real good. All right. Right out supply sticker. One way quarry card. Kind of cool. Look, one way quarry. And let's see. This is the them over yeah, let's do this way. so that's my freestyle and ripper that looks amazing man great job same thing put it this way so you can see it freestyling was such a big big deal and big part of my life as a kid so that's why I went with that these are the Club Homeboy stickers, and the black is the reflective, but this has some of that. These are going to go on the forks. The other fork. These are the some extra ride out supply stickers that they like to throw in, and we all like to support and because we love them, we put them on our bikes. Ride out supply. Here's a special one they made, Broke Boys. Some more Broke Boys ones. Shout out to Jacob Santos and all the guys. Some gold ride out supply sticker. To Jacob Santos and Slim Boy and Rickard and DZ, all of them. Super stoked about this one my favorite podcast, Urban Misfits Podcast. If you're not listening to that, give them a, give them a listen. They're great. Oh, man, I can't believe you got these so small. Some Santo stickers for my bars. Another super dope Broke Boys sticker. And what are these? Some more Broke Boys. 
some broke boys, man. Right out, you guys really came through. It's, and this is what everybody loves. You gotta leave, look at the message. Isaac, thank you for your support. Be sure to post and tag us in photos of your kit installed to be featured on our page. LJ, right out supply. Love your brother, that's an amazing, amazing kit. And I've already taken off the, see I'm gonna set that there and back, oh, I'll set it on my weights. And I've already taken off the frame stickers. I have my original ride out sticker up there. My hood rich sticker there, but we're gonna put some here. I gotta remove these, so we'll be back to do that in a little bit. I gotta clean my bike up and uh, we'll get this started. We'll explain how the best way to install your stickers on your new bike. All right, so I'm just finishing up getting this ready. And first thing I wanna do is just kind of take off all the stickers um, from your frame. I've already removed the, the big ripper sticker here. Taking off my Robbie's sticker. That's all right because I have another one. I don't feel too bad. That one came off pretty good and I could probably stick it somewhere else. So I'm gonna set it aside. Probably put it on my laptop actually. All right. So now that we've got that done, the first thing I like to do, because sometimes there's some residue uh, on the frame. So it's called goof off. Um, I've had this for years, a little bit will last you. You're probably like this size costs a couple bucks and this will last your entire 12 years. I've had the same model and it's just put a little bit, a little bit here on a, uh, a rag. Um, it's a lot like WD-40. If you have WD-40, um, this will do the same thing. But what this does will get any of that the sticky film that stickers have um, on them. I know I've got some, if I flip these forks over, I've already taken the lane gear stickers off of my um, forks and I do have some residue. So I'm gonna move the camera over there and I'll let you see it. So it may be difficult, but if you look in the light, there's some, um, right in here, you can feel some residue. You can, if you just run your hand along, so I, I know where the, the goof off stuff is, or you spray the WD-40 on a, on a rag, wipe your forks down, or the area that had the sticker, oops, sorry, or the area that had the sticker, and that will get most of that off. And feeling it. Still some, it's hard to describe, but I mean, if you do this um, in person, you'll feel, I can feel where I could smooth and then I can feel a little bit of a, some dirt. And that's when I know that I still have some sticker residue. So the key to this is really prep. You're gonna hear people talk about anytime you paint a bike or do, or do stuff like this customizing the prep takes the longest it's the most tedious part but it's also the uh it's it really kind of makes or breaks your entire how this turns out because i could i could come in here and show you with like a hey uh here's how you apply a sticker video right and it's pretty easy stick it peel it you're done but if I don't get all these little, this little residue sticker, it actually collects dust. And in between your new custom stickers that you paid good money for, um, you're gonna have some, some dust buildup that's gonna stick to that. You won't be able to get it off and uh, your bike just won't look as good. So man, if you're gonna spend the money to do it, take a couple minutes to do it right. All right, so that is completely smooth there. Loving it. All right, so I'm just kind of looking here. 
where I want to position it, how far down or up. I think that's pretty good. Let's step back and look. What I'm using to judge here is, is I can feel the right up here. I hope that's on camera there. Yeah. I can see where the top of the quote mark is there, and I can feel it's just on the start of the bend. Now up here, it's, it's up a little bit higher. So that feels like it's about where I need it. All right, so I have the, I have the sticker set up pretty much where I want it. Peel this part back now. Sometimes it's not going to peel like your your backing is not going to peel everything uh, perfectly, and that's fine. You just press it and kind of peel back at an angle. It will. There we go. So I'm going to stop there. I'm going to tear this off. And let this go back as it should. Pressing it along the frame. Like so. Now I can undo this area. This area. This area because now it's pinned down over here. I know that that's where it needs to be. I can go ahead and peel the rest of the sticker backing off. I'm going to take this off because we're going to reuse this on the other side. And Pay special attention here to these littler parts, like the quotation marks, because those tend to come off, or not want to come off as, as easily as the others do. So, pulling that top eyeball in. And now I'm just pushing tight against the sticker to press that backing into the clean surface of my frame. Let me get a good, good grip on that. And if you look, I'm just kind of pressing hard over all the different areas in different directions. I kind of go over the sticker as if I was drawing it with my thumb, just to press it down into the frame get a good contact under that clean frame surface so that you don't have any peel ups or anything like that later on down the road. Like so. All right. So now I've got that press on there pretty good. I'll move over here and we'll do the peel off. with me more adjust this just a little bit. So I'm going to start up at the top off camera and you'll see me pull down here in a moment. And what I'm doing here is I'm just pulling back in an almost like a 180 degree angle. Pulling back. Some of these parts are super detailed, like most of these stickers, because they're custom, they're actually multiple stickers placed on top of each other. 
um, which is what that's the beauty of what what LJ and Rideout do. There we go. And now I have my new sticker placed exactly where I want it on the frame, like so. And we'll go ahead and do the other side, but I'm going to need to remove some of these landing gear stickers here. That's that's essentially what it looks like. We'll do the reveal here in a sec. All right, so I've already j we just put stickers on the other side, and because while I'm sticking, I'm pressing down like this on the other side when I was sticking it down, my fingers would end up rubbing along here, which then just placed fingerprints and the oil um, from my fingers onto my frame. So I want to remove that. This is just regular rubbing alcohol and uh, my five o'clock. And because rubbing alcohol dries quickly, it is ready to go. Now, I'm rolling around on a chair because I'm actually doing this inside my house today. Um, because we're in the middle of the coronavirus lockdown, isolation, quarantine, however you want to describe it. Um, but staying safe because uh, not only do I want to keep the world safe, I want to do my part to make sure I'm not making other people sick by putting myself out there um, and risking doing stuff that uh, I don't necessarily need to do, like going outside and getting in people's way. So. Now this is the, I'm going to bring this phone over here. The important part here is uh, what, I'm, what I'm trying to do is figure out where my frame start, where the sticker starts and ends on this side. So I thought I'd be able to get a, a view of it. But <clears throat> what you'll see me do here is I'm going to take some tape and rip it down the middle. Now, see it's a weird triangle, but you have a straight side here and a straight side here. That's gonna be my markers to let me know where the other sticker on the other side of the frame starts and stops. So, if I look over here, bear with me one second. All right, so, bring the frame back. All right. Now, I used the straight side here, and if you look, I move this through the frame, that's where the quotation mark on the front ends there. Likewise, where the quotation ends there, come through, ends there. So. How is that going to work? Well, I can line up here and here because I know these are the same size. Okay. So looking at that, I know that it's centered with the other sticker. Now I'm just going to make sure that it's high enough. 
and I'm gonna look at it from all angles because I am a little bit OCD about this and when I'm riding my bike, I don't wanna look down and see one sticker higher than the other. So, it's a little bit too high. So what I'm gonna do is drop it just a little on either side. Again, man, friends, take your time. It's gonna be my marker there, so I know. This, I will remove without moving the sticker. Place in the middle here. So all I do is move the sticker it was holding down here to there so that I can peel back the backing I can actually probably tear it from there and get a break on it there we go And if I measured it, yeah, quotation lines right there. And just like the other side, I'm gonna rub my finger as if I was using it as a marker over each shape of the letter. And just take your time because a lot of this uh, isn't just a flat surface because it's a it's a tube, right? So the sticker is going to want to bend and move in ways that's not necessarily easy for it to do. So take your time, and that's the way you're going to keep from getting your bubbles uh, in your in your frame and in your sticker. So now I've pressed it all down. I can begin pulling it back. Again, go slow over the quotation marks, um, just because it's a smaller, it's a smaller part. And uh, the sticker, the, the the sticker that that you place over 
the actual sticker when you get it is designed to peel back. But it also is not uh, extremely sticky because the object obviously is to pull, pull the sticker out. So now checking my work, my guides. Those are my marks that I used. We got pretty close to it. So I can remove this now and my, my frame sticker is complete. The down tube. And now it's on to the forks. I'll do the forks over here next. There we have it. Freestyling Ripper. And we'll move over here to the forks next. Now, <clears throat> I've, had, I've had a few people ask me about this. Um, when you're putting fork stickers on, what's the, what order, which direction do you want them? So, what, <laughs> what I've seen a lot of people do is, uh, they, this, so I'm putting Club Homeboy stickers here, which was a, a zine started that, that came off of Freestyle Magazine. So if you're, if you're an old school 80s kid, you'll know exactly what this is. If you're not, um, research Club Homeboy. Super fun, old school uh, zine, kind of mini magazine. Fan club you could join. So you you kind of get to decide how you want this to lay on your, on your fork. Do you want it? Club Homeboy going this way, or Club Homeboy going forward. I have my personal thoughts, but I think this is a good way to, to kind of show you what the standard is, because I didn't take the stickers off of this side of the fork. So the way SE has it, landing gear, so that would mean Club Homeboy goes this way. So you're reading it. Um, like that, <clears throat> from the top down. So I'm just kind of looking where I want this to go. I know I've got this got a zip tie up here that I need to get rid of. I can still place that there and that actually works pretty well. So I pulled the back off of the sticker and this one's a little bit easier to eyeball. So I'm just rubbing down the middle, getting the middle attached. That cracking you hear is the sound of the stickers um, trying to bend and control and, and conform to the shape of the fork. So your SE forks, at least mine, uh, all have a bubble kind of up here on the sticker from the factory because uh, they roll. So. And it's not a completely flat surface. So take extra care to press down on these, these rounded edges on the outside and up here around these top. 
and doing the same thing we did the first time, pressing just like you would a pencil over each letter to make sure that all sides of it and all the directions have been pressed down and adhered to the fork. And there I've got my club homeboy fork. Freestyle ripper there. And that is exactly how I do uh, stickers. Lots of ways to do this. I'm by no means the only one that will ever do this. Uh, and wouldn't say I'm necessarily the, the best person at it, but this is just a method that's worked for me for years. So thank you to LJ at, our, at Bright Out Supply. Um, just amazing experience building this, this kit with you. Um, taking it from my initial idea, my initial sketch, um, taking it and, and adding uh, his own flavor to it and his own input to make sure that uh, I was completely stoked with what I got uh, when it arrived and I couldn't be happier. Um, really loving the way my bike looks. Uh, I feel like it's a little bit more custom to me and, and my history and love of riding. So thank you, LJ. Thanks for watching this video. If you found it helpful, uh, like it, subscribe. Uh, for more content like this um you know and, and appreciate you being part of the bike life and and wanting to customize your bike too it's something that's super easy to do it's super simple um but it's something that will bring you a lot of joy and make you really kind of feel like you don't just have a, a a bike like everybody else you'll really stand out and for a very small price you can get yourself a custom sticker kit uh, from ride out supply so take care all right, so here's the entire kit, start to finish, Club Homeboy on the forks. The Hood Rich Bike Life, I got that from them when I bought a shirt, so that, that was already on the bike. The Freestyle and Ripper kit. It's a custom kit from Ride Out Supply. This I already had from pre a previous order because I wanted to test what the black, the, the rainbow, uh, prism chrome look like before I actually did it here so I had them make a sticker it's a good way to test out the color scheme see if you like it before you buy it I think everybody gets that ride out supply uh, head to badge uh, when you buy a kit added the, the gold back there it looks fantastic the reason I didn't put it on the front because I've got my urban misfits head badge Got my Broke Boys head badge there that came with the kit. And then I actually got that from Ride Out Supply when I bought the Instagram tag. That's uh, also just a decal sticker on the front, but back in the day we had these types of uh, head badges that were aluminum or metal and they're just fun. So we'll throw back to my days. But that's the kit there. And uh, See if I can get it, I don't think I can get dark enough in here to show you the reflected, but we'll try. I'll be right back. All right, got it dark enough to kind of see the, the reflected gold right out. There's my Instagram badge. There you go, you can see the rainbow in there, and the prism. Uh, the freestyle ripper. The black. Shadow actually turns into white in the uh, reflection, so it's a good thing to talk to LJ about uh, and, or Ride Supply when, you, when you're talking to him. Ask him about the reflective colors and how it's going to look. Um, it's part of what uh, I, I, that's kind of what comes with the uh, the kit when you buy it. Is you're asking their opinion. Makes sense if you really think about it. They've made more kits uh, than you probably dreamt of. Uh, I saw recently they had a post where there was probably 30 or 40 kits uh, going out to the mailbox. So they, they really turn around a lot of these things. They work with a lot of people. So 
my best advice is really uh, talk to them and, and consult with them. Um, they're really creative. They got some great ideas. The Club Homeboy fork stickers turn white and reflective. And then uh, that, that yellow club looks white to me, but uh, who knows? So the other great thing is uh, my Broke Boys head tube badge turns white as well as the Urban Misfits. And then one thing uh, I did off camera was I added my, I added a, a Santos sticker to my Santos bars that I painted up. So uh, when that is, when the lights are on, that actually turns black instead of white. So that's always fun. A little color changing options for you. But anyway, that's, that's the reflective kit, ride out supply and what it looks like in the light, what it looks like in the dark.